Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Tech Talk. Today we are going to be talking about how to replace a battery on an Atom Electric H-Series board. So right now I got an H10 right behind me, a much loved board of mine, and the battery sits in this battery compartment right here. So in short, we're just going to remove this from the deck. There's six screws on the back here that connect it, um, and then once we get in there we're going to disconnect the battery and that's pretty much as far as it goes. Um, so I keep my hand underneath the, uh, the board when I unscrew these screws just to keep the battery from kind of dropping down and maybe damaging one of the inserts in the battery box. Um, so once again, six screws. Okay. And then I just allow that to drop down or I hold it a little bit, maybe flip your board over. Okay. And then you'll be able to just lift your battery box off. Okay, so from there you can flip your battery box over and go ahead and peel your silicon waterproofing pad off. All right, before you go any further, just double check that your power actually is off. If there's no light on there, then you're looking good. But in case there's a lot of light from the background, go ahead and, you know, you can see basically it's pretty green. So that's what it looks like when it's on. So hold down to turn that off. And now I'm ready to get this battery out of there. Okay, so um, typically we say the first thing that you do when you open up a battery box is disconnect the battery from the PCB just to avoid any uh, chance of shorting. On these guys, it's a little bit difficult to kind of do that when it's sitting in there. So actually, I do um, take the battery out before I actually do any disconnections. Um, and on these guys, we cover them up pretty good. Any chances of shorting, anything like that, all that's kind of covered in nice plastic casing. So, um, so you're pretty safe to, to do this, all right? So basically, you'll have three little clips that hold the battery in. Um, focus on the one that has the single side right here because it's just a little bit easier than doing the, the double. So you just want to get one of these sides out at a time. So I go ahead and I use gravity because it's kind of a pain. You might need like a, a screwdriver to push this clip back. Um, but basically use gravity to, once you pull it back, the battery will drop a little bit. If it's not doing that, if it's fitting in there tighter, then you might actually need to pull it back with one screwdriver, get another one and kind of pry it out a little bit. But that guy was nice and easy, lucky for us today. And from there, you're just gonna basically pull that battery out until it's dislodged, okay? So once, once you've got it out, then you're just gonna kind of bring it out and you're gonna see your connection is still uh, connected to the, your uh, ESC, all right? So now it's just as simple as basically just grabbing that connection and wiggling. Don't, don't like yank super hard. It's nice when you are pulling just to kind of wiggle a little bit, take your time, and then that'll come out easy. Once you got your battery disconnected, go ahead and set that guy aside and grab your new one. Okay, and you're ready to do the whole process in reverse. So when you are making the connection, you'll see that actually it's a, it's a three pin connector and you can actually, um, well, it's, it's got a way that it goes. It's got a little kind of piece in the plastic that will prevent you from making the connection the wrong way. So you'll kind of see um, the little uh, protrusion on this piece and the dent in that one that will make sure that you connect it the right way. So paying attention to that, um, when the battery is out, you just go ahead and push that guy in there. Really get a, get it in there good. You just want to push it, make sure it goes to, until it actually stops, okay? Um, so that's most of the way to where you're not seeing a whole lot of yellow at that point, but you'll feel it kind of hit the bottom, all right? From there, make sure that your motor wires actually fall into the, there's a little gap in the casing right there. So you don't want them on top because it'll get squished when the whole thing gets put back together. So make sure motor wires are kind of down where they should be in that little gap. And then at that point, you're just ready to kind of uh, insert your battery under those two clips. And then you're going to pull back on the clip that we use to, um, you know, to disassemble. And once you do that, it's just going to drop straight back in. And you're just making sure that those three clips are nice and solid. Everything is looking good. And you're ready to just assemble your battery backs back onto your deck. All right, so you got your silicon waterproofing pad. You can do it a few ways. You can put it onto the um, casing itself, or if your screws are actually, um, 
you know, still in the case like mine are here to line up, then I'll just go ahead and set it on to the deck. Make sure you get the right way around. And then I will line up my battery box into the groove. Make sure it all kind of fits in there nice and tight. Wiggle it around a little bit because, you know, it is a nice tight fit. So you actually do want to make sure it actually is sitting down in the channel of the silicon pad. Once you got that, we're going to flip it over. And I know you guys can't quite see this, but let me just get a couple in there at first just to get it nice and soft. I like to get two in, and ideally I like to get the corners in first because um, then that basically makes it to where everything is lined up well. And then you can finish the rest of these guys. Make sure everything's nice and tight. Wiggle on it. Make sure that the um, actual casing is nice and tight. Now I'm looking on here and I can't actually see a couple little gaps. So I just want to make sure make sure your torque setting is adjusted well. That's sucking it up nice and tight. Like I said, our waterproofing kind of depends on that, so you don't want to you don't want to back off on that too much. Yeah, like you know. A little less than halfway on my torque setting there. And there you have it. Obviously you want to make sure that your board actually does turn back on now. Get a nice green light going. And that's pretty much it. So if you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Um, otherwise, make sure you subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all the new tech talks. Thank you for watching. I'm R&D Lee.